Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope everyone's having a good day. So I want to do like a video, a quick video on send as access and um, full mailbox access on Office 365 and how you would do it in Office 365. I made a video on this on in the past, but I want to go over like from a generic point of view because some people keep asking me about how do you do it? How do you do it? And, you know, it's a common level one ticket in some companies. Some companies would be level two. Some companies may be, maybe you may not have access to this, but it varies from company to company. All right. So let me share my screen real quick. So we are sharing screen one. So one thing about me is I like to, I like to like go over, um, Office 365 by going through office.com. So you need to know how to navigate to this website because sometimes you may have a client or user or someone that is asking for an installation of Office. So you have it right here on the right-hand side, actually. So when you log in, obviously, it, 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 I already signed in. I saved my password already. But when you log in, you have this option on the right-hand side. It says premium Office apps and other installation apps. You need to know how to install Office Office Suite on a laptop, on a desktop, or maybe someone has a, a, a company laptop. You have to go to office.com. They probably have a license, or maybe you have to assign them a license, and then you install it for them. So for today, we're going to go over uh, Exchange. So I'm going to go here and click on Admin on the left-hand side, right? And it should open up like this. And let's go over Show All. Let's go over Exchange and let's open that up real quick. Me, I'm very, uh, I'm very old school, right? Obviously, so I am gonna go into Classic Exchange Admin Center. That's like the original Admin Center. Obviously, this is the newer version or the newer way to get into it. I'm gonna go into it this way, right? And I'm gonna hit Mailboxes. That's what I just did just now. So I was in Dashboard and I clicked on Mailboxes. So when you're, when you're working with a user or a client, uh, obviously there's several ways to do it. You can do it on PowerShell, but today I'm gonna do it on, on the GUI or on the website. If you want someone to have access, send as access, you go into the user themselves. So like, I want, I want Kevin Apollinari, which is me, I wanna have send as access to Raj. And I also wanna have Raj's mailbox as well. So what you do is you double click on Raj, you go into mailbox delegation, and then you add yourself right here. So here is send as access, Kevin Pornario. And then here is full access, Kevin Pornario. I already added myself here. So I literally opened this up. I double clicked on my name, clicked on add, clicked okay, right? Clicked over here, click on add, click add, click my name, and then I saved it. So when you do that, you should be good to go after that. You should have access now. Uh, and obviously, it takes some time to replicate across the system. So it may take five minutes, it may take 10 minutes, it may take 20 minutes, really depends on the company, right? Really depends how, how the company's set up. You now have access to Raj's mailbox. The most important thing that I like to go over when you do this are a few different things. One is you have to go into office.com, right? And you probably had to set an out of office reply for Raj because maybe he's like a manager or something and you have access to this, obviously. So you probably have to go in here. You have to go into office. You probably got to go into Outlook, right? And since you have access to his mailbox, you probably got to go on the top right-hand side and do open another mailbox, right? And then do Raj, type Raj in there, right? And then you have access now. So you should be able to open it as Raj. And then when you do that, you already have access to Raj's mailbox. Outlook, right here. It's right here. So this is uh, Outlook web app, right? And he probably doesn't have access to set out of office reply because he's probably on vacation or something. He's asking you for a favor. He's like, can you set my out of office reply? Since you gave yourself access to his mailbox, you, you, I opened it on behalf of Raj. You go to the right-hand side. Click on the little gear tab right over here, right? Click on view Outlook settings. And then on the bottom, it says automatic replies. You click on that. 
you turn that on, and then you could set an auto office reply for Raj, and then you save it. And that's how you would do it. And, and, and guys, this is a common level one ticket, maybe level two, depending if you have access to do mailbox exchange admin center or not. But this is a common ticket you'll get every day. Like, like the person's like, I'm out of the office. Um, can you send me out of office reply for me? So you could probably do it on PowerShell as well, obviously. But this is just the, 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 the easiest way to show you how to do it, because I know everyone is not like tech savvy or they're trying to learn Exchange Admin Center. This is how you would do it. All right. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to minimize Chrome for a second and I'm going to re I'm going to open Outlook. So when you open Outlook, when you add the inbox, it should show up on the left hand side, which is right here. You see Raj is right over here, right? Which is kind of cool. You actually have his inbox. So it's, you could just click on it, close it, open it, right? And I also gave myself send on behalf access. So I actually could go to new email and I could actually go over here and you see this insert options. This is from, I'm going to take, I'm going to turn that off for a second, right? I should be able to send emails on behalf of Raj. So what you do is you click the from button right here. You hit the drop down. You hit other email address. You hit from, and I'm going to search for Raj. I'm going to hit okay. Um, and it should change it to Raj at kevtechitsupport.com. And I'm going to send an email to myself. I'm going to do test, and it should work. Just give that a second. I heard a little chime button. There we go. There we go. I got it. So, yeah, now it's on behalf of, I said on behalf of Raj. So that's how you would do it. So, Maybe you have multiple share mailboxes and you'll probably be requested to do this and you have to do the drop down. You'll probably have like four or five of them right here. So obviously if you want to get rid of it, you just hit the little X button right here. It gets rid of it. Um, that's how you do it. And then obviously I have access to Raj's inbox. So if you go here, he has his inboxes right over here, right? When you have access to someone's inbox, you also have access to their calendar. Um, I'm gonna remove this because I want to go over this. Uh, let's just see here. You have access to his calendar. Um, it's giving me that error message because I deleted that share calendar. It's fine. Um, you have access to contacts, and you have access to their task. So when you give someone access to the mailbox. You give you give them access to all these other things, right? What I want to do is, and it's probably not going to work when I click on it, I want to open up um, Raj's mailbox, right? I'm going to do, I, I accidentally closed out of it. So let me just close it and reopen it again. Just give me a second. There we go. Now, it's, now it works. I had to close out of it and reopen it. So that, that's Raj's inbox. Say, for example, you get a call about, uh, uh, Kevin, I need you to give me access to Raj's, um, Raj's uh, calendar, right? You do it in here, obviously. So obviously you give yourself access to his inbox. Um, you right click on Raj, you do properties, you do permissions, and then you add yourself in here. I already added myself as, a, as an editor. Um, and then you give them access to, the, to, that, to that calendar. And you have different permissions where you have author, publisher, reviewer, contributor, free and busy, free, busy subject in location, right? Now, if you want to open up someone else's share calendar and you have access to it already, obviously you would go in here, um, add share, add calendar, and then open share calendar. And then you just look for the name Raj here, hit OK, hit OK, and you should have access to it right now. It's not down there, see? It opens it right there. You could just I could just uncheck it, it goes back and forth that's fine but yeah so that's how, how you would do it obviously there's several ways to give someone access to a calendar that's just one method of doing it if you want to give someone an uh, uh, access to a calendar like if you physically remote into Raj's computer right obviously this is not Raj's calendar but let's just say uh Kevin this is me right I want to give Raj access to my calendar right so the way to do it is you, you could you could go in here and obviously you could right click on it right I go here to properties 
Um, I could go here and I could add Raj in here and then give him access to it and then make him an editor over here if I wanted to, right? If I wanted to, it's entirely up to me. That's uh, that's the option number one, right? Uh, option number two is you could go into file, you go into account, right? And you could go into delegation access right here. And give it a second because it's spinning because it's thinking about it, right? And if you see right here, it says my delegates only who send a copy of meetings and requests in response to me recommend it. You could actually hit the add button right here. I could scroll down. I could hit a Raj, hit add, click OK. Just give that a second. And then here, I could change the settings here. So I, I could put none for this. And here it says, delegate receives copies of the meetings related to the messages sent to me. Automatically sending messages to delegates summarizing their permissions. Or uh, delegates can see my private items. You could change the drop down right here and you could give them access right here. It's entirely up to you. You hit OK, right? And then you hit OK. And it's gonna be it's gonna like freeze a little bit because it's like obviously you're 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 giving someone else access and it's trying to uh, go to that server and you know obviously give the permissions for it right so that's why it's like it's like frozen right now it's like thinking about it uh, give that a second should be done sometimes when you do this this when you do it this way sometimes it tend like Outlook will will freeze on you like see it's freezing on me right now because I, I clicked OK and it's thinking about it. Uh, sometimes you'll have this issue where, where it's like it's like you're trying to click on it and you're trying to add someone and it may it may freeze on you. It's just outlook. It's just outlook being outlook. <laughs> but when you do it, it should be good after that. So for the sake of right now me doing this, I'm gonna oh, I was gonna exit out of it, but it seems like I did it already. All right, good. So I hit delegation access. I'm gonna click on it again. So now he has access to it, right? Then you should be good to go after that. And you, obviously you could change some settings here and other stuff here. Um, yeah, and then that's it. That's pretty much it for today. I wanted to go over uh, send as access and uh, mailbox delegation and some, some calendar access as well. I'm gonna stop sharing. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys have a good day and I hope you guys find this useful. Uh, have a wonderful Saturday. Take care.